Madam Chair, the floor is yours. All right. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Calling together the planning board meeting for Wednesday, January 3rd, 2024, our first meeting of this year. Happy New Year, everyone. Tonight, um, before I review the quick agenda, if you're here for 1315 Main Street, this applicant is not here tonight. It'll be continued, I guess. So if you're here for 1315 Main Street, this will not be reviewed this evening. Okay. So uh, this meeting is not being streamed, but being recorded, right, Rob? Yes, it is, ma'am. Right. And so it will be done by roll call vote. And we're going to start with roll call for the planning board members. Larry Hassan? Here. Landa Spinola? Here. James Sweeney? Here. Marty Crowell? She muted? Yeah, you have to just go off mute, Marty and... We see Marty giving the thumbs up. Um, she's in attendance. Tony Gonzalez present. Uh, so again, this is live. <clears throat> uh, public comic, I guess you raise your hand and uh, Rob will give you permission to speak. And all of the minutes will be recorded by Isaiah and live. Tonight we have a um, really short agenda. Hmm. Definitive subdivision for East Ashland Street. Applicant is Ab Absolute Builders, JK Holmgren Engineering. Before we get into that, can we have a review and acceptance of last month's meetings from December 5th? Motion to approve December minutes. Second. All right, roll call. Larry Hassan? Yes. Yolanda Spinola? Yes. James Sweeney? Yes. Marty Kroll? Yes. Monica Gonzalez. Monica yes. Gonzalez, yeah. Okay, perfect. No ANRs, no lot releases, correct, Evan? Madam Chair. Nope. <clears throat> Madam Chair, it's Larry. Should we uh, announce that uh, 1315 Main Street was continued in case anybody's here for that? I did that already. Oh, boy. I don't know how I missed that. I'm sorry. Me neither. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> All right. Um, is the applicant here, J.K. Holmgren Engineering for East Ashland Street? I'm moving Scott over. And I forgot to make Evan and Isaiah co-hosts. So. Thank you, Rob. Good evening, Madam Chair. Board members, Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, we have, I'm going to try to share my screen, Madam Chair. We have a definitive subdivision plan uh, for you folks to take a look at tonight. Uh, does everybody see the plan? Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, so it's a, a piece of property, Madam Chair, on East Ashland Street, uh, known as Plot 21 East Ashland Street. It's a vacant piece of property, about 13 acres, uh, right next to uh, 220 East Ashland Street, which is a large retail plaza uh, kind of across the street uh, from the side <coughs> a little bit. And uh, the reason we have a definitive subdivision plan, we're, we're trying to take the 13 acre parcel of land and divide it into two buildable lots shown on my plan as lot A, uh, which is about 47,000 square feet, in lot B, which is about 25,000 square feet. The property is zoned R2, <clears throat> excuse me, zoned R2. Uh, so lots A and B meet your frontage requirement and your area requirement. The reason why we had to file a definitive subdivision as opposed to an A&R plan, we're also creating lot C, uh, which has about 50 feet of frontage and uh, a large portion of all the backland, about 11 acres of backland. Uh, that the owner wanted to to keep just uh, just to have it in case there was other further development uh, opportunities down the road, Madam Chair. So because we're creating a non-buildable lot, it requires definitive subdivision approval as opposed to just A and R approval. Uh, so that is what we're doing. The lots, as I said, lots A and B that will uh, hope to make buildable lots 
all meet the zoning requirements, they will need uh, conservation commission approval, which we'll uh, get working on as soon as we uh, settle this up with you folks, Madam Chair. Okay, opening this up to questions from the board members. Madam Chair, it's Larry. So, um, Scott, just can you give us a rundown of what their plan is for these lots? Are they going to sell them? Or are they planning on building? Uh, if they're ride two, what are they building? Like uh, like duplexes or? Yeah, Mr. Hassan, it's uh, Absolute Builders as a uh, you know they had a developing company. They they build uh, homes uh, such as these, not not big developments, but but homes. Uh, these would be. Uh, it is zoned R2. We'd be proposing two family homes, the uh, more likely the up and down two family that you're seeing a lot in Brockton now. Uh, these lots, because of the wetlands and the easements that go through, even though they meet the zoning and they're fairly wide uh, property wise with those restrictions, the wetlands and the easements, they're, they're kind of narrowed down. Uh, so the up and down two family uh, fits pretty well on both of the lots, Mr. Hassan. Okay. Thank you. Just that was my question. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Madam Chair. All right. Thank you both. Other questions? Yeah, uh, Madam Chair, if I might. Um, it looks like when you divide this, some of that property may be landlocked, and you mentioned future development. Does the developer own any other surrounding lots? Uh, it. He does not. It does have, again, the, the 46 feet of frontage here on East Ashland Street. It's mm -hmm. mostly wet, uh, but there, you know, there are upland portions up along the plaza, uh, and then as you head to the back towards Melrose Ave. Uh, Melrose Ave. So, uh, you know, realistically, the the opportunity for him to do any uh, any kind of developing there, I I think a pe pretty slim, Mister Sweeney. But I, I think he just wants to hold on to it as opposed to just adding it on to either one of the lots A and B, which really would wouldn't increase the value at all. So. I think he just felt like he'd rather own it and continue paying taxes to the city on it. Could make a nice park, but that's a side note. I think uh, I, I think the planning department might might have the same feelings down the road, Mr. Sweeney. Okay. All right. Just curious. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, other questions? If not, is this open to public comment, Rob? Uh, yes, ma'am. If anyone would like to comment on this proposed subdivision, please um, use the raise your hand icon, which you can find at the bottom of your screen. If you hover your cursor over the bottom, uh, the icons should open up. And oops, sorry, I'm on the wrong screen. And Madam Chair, I do not see anyone indicating that they would like to speak on this matter. All right. Uh, seeing there's no other questions from the public, can I get a motion? Um, we have a, I'm sorry, Madam Chair, there is a, oh, a question, question that came in. Yeah. I don't know if we want to. Uh, Mr. Panofsky, if you use the raise your hand icon, or well, I'll, I'll unlock your microphone. I'm sorry. So if you'd like to address the group, um, please do so now. Hi, can everybody hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, I'm 220 East Ashland. I own the building that they're possibly building. And I've, I've got some concerns about this, partly because of the wetlands and potential overflow onto our property, et cetera. I don't know enough about this, uh, but I do know enough to know it could be a problem. So I'm not sure how to go from this point, but I'm not comfortable yet. Well, Mr. Panofsky, at this point, at this point in time, they're just doing the land division. Uh, they will need to go to the Conservation Commission uh, because of the wetlands uh, upstream. And uh, that is probably where your concerns will be best addressed. That's correct. Okay. And who is that again? It's the Conservation Commission. Okay. They're in Brockton, I assume? Or... Yes, they are. Okay. Got it. And you'll okay. receive notice also. In block, uh, their, is their office at uh, the City Hall, Rob? So Randy knows? Yes, third floor, City Hall. Okay. okay, great. Any other questions? 
Okay. Motion to approve with standard conditions. All right, is there a second. second? All right, roll call. Larry Hassan? Yes. Marty Kroll? Yes. Milana Spinola? Yes. James Sweeney? Yes. Monica Gonzalez, yes. All right. Thank you, Scott. Thanks, Thanks. folks. Happy Thanks, new Scott. Year. Happy New Happy Year. Happy New Year. Again. Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Is there any other business? Rob or Evan, Isaiah Road? All right. If not, motion to adjourn. Um, so I just need a, sorry. I'm still waiting for signatures from Marty and Yolando. I haven't seen uh, except signatures from you guys, but Larry. What did you say, Marty? Sorry. I just signed it like an hour ago. No, no, no. You got that. That was good. Um, in at the office. Oh, to go in? Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. You got okay, plans sure. to sign. Okay, yeah. I'll okay. Head, I'll, I can try to head in and sign something soon. Motion to yeah. adjourn. Madam Chair, I'm sorry, oh, Madam Chair, before we adjourn. Yes. Um, so the plan is to send the attendance sheet, um, like Isaiah sent earlier, but um I noticed that everyone signed, which is great. However, it does have a timestamp. I don't know if that will be a problem since most of you guys did it prior to the meeting. Yeah, I, I'm don't not worry sure, about but that. let's try to see if we can do it maybe after the meeting start or on yeah. six so that it doesn't it's not a problem. Yeah, I signed it as I attended. As yeah. I was live, I I signed it as I was live. But um, Marty, you weren't live yet, so please just make sure you're live before you sign it. I think Road has a good point there. Mm -hmm. And uh, today is Wednesday, correct? Can Yolanda and Marty make it to the office tomorrow? Because those signatures have been waiting since last month, I believe. Right, Isaiah? Two months, but yes. Okay, so tomorrow... <laughs> Please make time. Do you think that's possible, Yolando? Yeah, I can stop by tomorrow. And how does and if you can, we've got, hmm? we've got fudge that we need to get rid of, so please come and get it. <laughs> <laughs> Marty, what so does just... your look like? Can you make it tomorrow? I can. Perfect. All right. Thanks, Isaiah. So, Sorry about the delay. Madam, Madam no Chair, worries. just for the sake of the board, can you hear me? Yes. So just They can't get started until the document's signed, right? The Correct. No. Right, right. right. So okay. uh, we're holding them up. So we really need those signatures, those two signatures tomorrow. Okay. Motion to adjourn. Second. Okay. Roll uh did we do this already? But roll call. Larry Hassan. Yes. Yolanda Spinola. Yes. Marty Crowe. Yes. Roll. James Sweeney. Yes. Mike Gonzalez. All right. Good night, everybody. Thank Bye. you all. Take, right. care. Take care. Thank you.